A common reason to use type in a Photoshop document is to add text over the top of an image. This can be putting a text-based logo on a t-shirt or a mug or screening back type over an image to create a stylized effect. We'd like to take a minute to demonstrate a method that can be used to screen back text over an image. The steps we will follow include First, open a background image or create one of your own. Then, add text on a new layer. Load the text as a selection by control or command clicking the T icon on the text layer. Turn off the original text layer so you can't see it. Create a levels adjustment layer from the selection. This creates a layer mask on the adjustment layer. Use the middle slider to lighten the values in the selection until they create enough contrast in the image to be able to read. The option would be to combine screened back text with layer effects. In this example, the Amsterdam Netherlands text is hard to read. The background texture makes it almost impossible to choose a solid color that will work for all the different parts of the image. So screening back text might be the best option to get the text to stand out on this distracting background. It is important to load your text as a selection before applying a levels adjustment or else the adjustment will, be, uh, will apply to the entire document. Once the text has been loaded as a selection and the levels adjustment has been applied, drag the midtone slider from side to side until the midtone values are changed significantly enough to allow the text to stand out from the background. It can be helpful to combine screen back text with layer effects to make the text stand out even more. In this example, I've applied a red drop shadow with a hard or crisp edge. And in this example, I applied a stroke to the same image to make the words stand out even more. And so let's jump over to Photoshop and I'll demo this with a different image. And so I have one of our stock images in the background and I've decided that I want to screen back or we would like to screen back the text of Ireland. Um, I can't find a good color that stands out in the background or a color to my liking. And so I'm going to try to see if maybe screening back text is, uh, is an option. And so what we ultimately want to do is use a levels adjustment layer to change the midtone values in the image so that they are different from the background. And so Whitney said in the slideshow that you want to make sure you make the selection first. So I want to show you what happens if you forget to make the selection. And so we have the text Ireland and we want to make that part of the image um, have a different midtone value than the rest. But if you forget to make a selection and you follow the proper steps for making adjustment layer, which would be to select the adjustment and choose levels, you get an adjustment uh, layer for the levels. It activates the properties panel and on the properties panel is where you can adjust the midtone slider. You can move it back and forth and it will make all the midtones darker if you slide it to the right or lighter if you slide it to the left. But because you forgot to make a selection, it is affecting the entire image. And so it is important that before you make that levels adjustment, let's go ahead and, and move backwards, that you make a selection of the text. And so there's there's a couple different ways to make a selection of the text. There's some easier ways and some harder ways. Um, the easiest way that allows the text to remain fully editable is to command or, or control click the T on the type layer and it will automatically load your type as a selection but it's still a type layer. And so now if I made an adjustment layer it would apply just to the selected areas. But in order for this to work, I can't see the white text. I'm going to have to turn that off so that I can't see it. And now when I create the adjustment layer for the levels, I will have a levels adjustment layer that automatically created a layer mask. And so the white areas are the areas that I am affecting and I'm keeping. And then the black areas are disappearing. And so you're seeing straight through the levels adjustment to the background layer. And so now if I adjust the midtone slider on the levels, uh, adjustment layer. If I slide it to the right, they'll all get darker. And so I maybe for this example, a darker um, midtone value would work. Or you can slide them to the left and it will make the midtones lighter. Now, sometimes you want this effect, but it doesn't do a great job with the readability or how quickly you can recognize the characters that are making up the word. And so you may want to use this in combination with layer effects. And so you can select the effects button at the bottom of the layers panel. You can do a bevel and emboss if you want it to stand out that way. You can do what we did in the slideshow and we added a drop shadow. But we didn't do a drop shadow that had a soft edge. We, in, we took the 
the distance and the spread and we lowered it until it was a hard edge. I kind of, I don't want to change it. I kind of like that version there. Nice. You could, I don't know, add a stroke so that it's easier to read. Maybe the stroke is going to be green because we're talking about Ireland and we make it a little bit fatter. You can do a number of different things. I don't like that, so I'm going to put it on the outside of the text. Maybe that works for what we're working for. Um, whatever you do, your objective is to make the words readable, so you're making this into some sort of postcard or something like that. And so once you have it to a place where you like it, you could move on to the next part of whatever project you're working on. And since I have this the way that I want it, unless you have any recommendations, Whitney? No, I think it looks fabulous. Then we will recommend that you give it a try on your own, and when you're done, you can move on to the next lecture in this module.